to the defendant, um, to any motion on behalf of the defendant to withdraw that guilty plea and the state uh, agrees uh, to no pros count 30. All right, okay. Mr. Wright? Your Honor, please. Anything on behalf of um, Mr. Sledge? Your Honor, my client is 41 years of age. He has eight children, three are grown. Um, so that would leave five minor children. He actually uh, has three brothers that are alive, one deceased. His father is deceased, but his mom is still uh, with us. Uh, he is very anxious to be able to get back to his family. Um, his outlook on this is silly, childish things done in the past as a younger man um, have sort of come to, to bite him. And he has grown, uh, I think, grown out of some of those, as we say, childish, childish things. So he is asking this court respectfully to agree and accept this, uh, uh, the terms of this agreement and sentence him according to the terms of this agreement. Uh, he will abide uh, to each and every provision that this agreement provides, whether it's through testimony or otherwise. And again, he is thankful to have this opportunity to get back to his family, to his children, and to the remainder of his life. Uh, you will not see him uh, after this trial and all this is over, you will not see him again. Okay. Uh, and the state um, has one other addition um, with respect to uh, count 30, the state has no objection to this court suspending that um, 15 years with the same provisions that we've uh, listed for the court previously. Um, and additionally, the state um, in accordance with the state's representation to Mr. Wright prior to this moment, um, the state would have no objection to, um, after the defendant's successful completion of the first 10 years of this probation, of it being terminated. Um, okay. All right. Mr. Wright, anything else? No, Your Honor. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Mr. Slade. How are you doing, Your Honor? I'm fine. Sir, did you have the opportunity to fully discuss the facts and circumstances of this case with your attorney, Mr. Wright, to your satisfaction? Yes, Your Honor. Did he explain to you the various constitutional rights you give up by pleading guilty to your satisfaction? Those are the same rights that my prosecutor, Ms. Love, just set forth on the record a few minutes ago. Do you have any questions about those rights you wish to ask me? No, Your Honor. All right. I'm holding the indictment in this case, and on page 6... Above the word defendant, is this your name or is it, and is this your signature? Yes, Your Honor. On the face of this indictment? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Before you sign this indictment, did you have an opportunity to fully discuss the facts and circumstances of this case with your attorney, Mr. Wright, to your satisfaction? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Is there anything else in this indictment that you wish to ask me? No, Your Honor. All right. I'll note the indictment's been signed, the plea has been entered. Mr. Sledge, based upon the responses that you've given during the court's inquiry, I find that your guilty plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I find a factual basis for your plea. I'm going to accept your plea as tendered and as negotiated. To count one, conspiracy to violate the Racketeering Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, this court will sentence you to 15 years to serve on probation. As it pertains to you in count 30, Possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, previously convicted of a felony using, involving the use or possession of a firearm, OCGA 16-11-133. This court will sentence you to 15 years probation consecutive to count one. Um, now, the state is also indicating, your attorney has also indicated that upon the initial trial of the case, provide you comply with the special conditions as outlined in sections B, C, D, F, and I of section three, that you should be able to withdraw your guilty plea in terms of that count. And the state will not process that count. Okay? Yes, Your Honor. All right. 
You also agree that you'll uh, abide by each and all the terms of the negotiated agreement. Is that correct? Yes, Sean. If you fail to abide by any term of this agreement, it could constitute a violation of this agreement. Yes, Sean. You shall testify truthfully about all matters related to this case upon which you're questioned in any trial or judicial proceeding stemming from the facts in this indictment. Is that correct? Yes, Sean. In accordance with testifying truthfully, you acknowledge uh, each and all each and all of the statements contained in the defendant's factual acknowledgement section of this agreement are true. Is that correct? Yes, Sean. And you agree that you'll testify truthfully about each statement contained within the defendant's factual acknowledgments, right? Yes, Sean. You shall possess no guns unless your right to do so is restored. Yes, Sean. You shall uh, commit no criminal acts, right? Yes, Sean. And you shall submit to random drug screens as designated by the Department of Community Supervision or any agency designated by the court in this case. You understand that? Yes, Sean. If you test positive for any Schedule 1, 2, or 3 drug, within 30 days of that positive test, you'll undergo drug rehabilitation as designated by the court or the Department of Community Supervision. And you have to successfully complete that, right? Yes, Sean. And you relinquish any Fifth Amendment right relating to any statement contained within the defendant's factual acknowledgments uh, of this plea agreement. Yes, Your Honor.